All right, we are back for chapter three, The Ascent. Uh, the first story is The Strange Practices of a Secret Society. This tattoo depicts a hand and an eye. Shabby formal coat, a coil of rope, a loaded pistol. David, the gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there for at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume. Grab rope and weapons, WK. To David Gorin for reliable service from EC. Ooh, we finally meet David Gorin. Uh, well, no, I think we've already met him. A hat. Loaded pistol. Sword. And a clean new coat. I got all of those. A clue has been added to the thinking panel. Dark hands, proud beast, and water snake. Brothers were mass appropriate to their house. Master, steward, and initiate. Oh, does that mean he? He is a dark hand initiate. All right. January 5th, 1789. Masters, I ventured on the Order's mission to reclaim our fire-breathing relic and, with great resolve, punish the spicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout in a remote cabin. Uh, in a re hunt remote hunting cabin. But the devil had prepared a treacherous tap trap and explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study thanks to my sturdy physique i survived the blast only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey assassin warrior david goran and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds after an hour of fight i received numerous deadly wounds in spite of which i prevailed and defeated my assailants with my martial training i discovered the enemy's dead body slain by the trap of his own making but no trace of the relic I am forced to go into hiding because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I recover from my deadly wounds and shake off the watchmen, I will send you the next report. Walter Keane. Okay. Masters, I must apologize a thousand times for my absence, but my road to recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. The government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly as I was forced to seek refuge in a quotina to recover from my still dire wounds. There I finally bested my pursuers with the help of a Lazarus Hurst, a young resourceful gentleman who I met in a remote manner one dark winter's night. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the, against the villains, but he turned out to be well versed in the arcane arts. Of course, not yet close to our skills. I have finally recovered and plan to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus would be a fine addition to the Order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. May the Griffin awaken. Walter King. Uh, illuminated Masters, I object to the admittance of the individual uh, Lazarus Hurst to our brethren. I submit that our dark hand Walter Keane... Who vouches for him cannot be trusted because he is a liar and a thief. I am certain that on dispatching our enemy, he kept the golden fire-breathing relic for himself. Nothing will move me on this. He must produce the relic and apologize personally to me, and afterwards be expelled from our brotherhood. Sir Geoffrey Sinclair. Then, when an accuser has challenged his defender, add a substance to one of the cups. Defender chooses first, accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in wine cups. Uh, both drinkers must be barefoot. 
The substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Ritual of Squabble. The Ritual of Squabble. Only initiates can be defender and accuser. Third must bor be borne by any dark hand. Required decorations of the hall. Grim Reaper, the never-tiring teacher, the feeder of mouth. Ritual of Conflict. Uh, the accuser must simply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by any initiate. The required decorations, the never-tiring uh, never teacher, the keeper of treasures, and the mirror of... The griffin has spoken. Ruby ring. A tray with a small vial of unknown substance. A silver tankard with some red wine in it. Let us await the results from the chamber below. Two cups at a stone altar that contain some wine, but are almost empty. Man in the mask is not breathing. A ritual of dispute, only stewards of higher rank can be defender and accuser. Scepter must be borne by a water snake, a master. Or right. the blind, the grim reaper, treasures. One, two, and three. Like to mother. Never. The sword must be borne by an initiate. Are you an initiate? know what these mean, but okay. Prepare to receive what you have earned. The lion and the initiate. Brother, a member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brotherhood. Our brother's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we have decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering on March 14th and fulfill your role in the rights of the Brotherhood Council of Members. Exception, you must endure the tests. Uh, let's see, evaluation. I'll be steward. And steward or master. I have signaled to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, where it may be.
kind of interesting. Okay, so if it's sunny out, you wear a winter coat. If it's freezing out, uh, it's like the opposite. You're, you're naked. Uh, you're a fish in a house, not in water. I uh, to eat with no mouth. And you carry the house. This is people. Ending teacher, the keeper of treasures in the mirror. Cool. So is this a snake? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even mess up for that one. Alright. Uh, so I was thinking that because of this guy. So this was... Okay, I was thinking it was this one. The scepter must be borne by a water snake master. It was between this and that was what it was making me know. Okay, so the Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper, the never tiring teacher. And the feeder of map. So a ritual. No, that wasn't what I... This one. Alright. Ritual of Dispute. Treasures. Or ending... Or never tiring teacher. Keeper of Treasures is the book. Never tiring teach... Oh, wait. The Grim Reaper is the Keeper of Treasures. This is... Retiring. Gotta be of dispute. Not who I thought that was. We on March 14th follow our plan. We should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full calm. 
Barney. Yeah, I guess that was, uh... There we go. Thank you, Walter Keen. I must be something.
Oh, that's... Okay, so Walter Keen was a dark hand. So Walter Keen... And is this a Jeffrey Sinclair? So, we know that this is Walter uh, Keen, this is Jeffrey Sinclair, because he challenged him. Uh, David Goran was uh, one of his, based on the tattoo on his back. Alright, so this... I'm going to say this is Lazarus Hurst. And... But that is a proud beast, so this would be the ritual in of Inception. And he is a proud beast steward based on his mask and the robe he's wearing. Oh, a proud beast steward. Okay. And based of the thing on his back, he is going to be a initiate. And that is a dark hand. All right, whew, we're getting somewhere. All right. So we are done with name. Because all the names are taken. So these guys, see how it goes from the tan to the gray? I think I am saying what they are. So this is a water snake master. This is a proud beast master and this is a water snake initiate there we go all right now we work ourselves backwards from these using these tips so walter keen was challenged to a ritual he along with uh david goren he along with ambushed Dark Hand Initiate David Gorin, based on the notes and what was in his pocket, uh, posing as a Dark Hand Initiate. So it's one of these three. Signaled me the tankard which up had no poison. This one this line here took me a long time to figure out. Okay, so the guy on the floor, Jeffrey then Claire, Frank, the other up and died. Well, Lazarus first. 
the perception ritual, you could become a proud beast. Okay, the scroll has been filled. After being challenged to a ritual with potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. <clears throat> they captured a Brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that, during the ritual of dispute, he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose the save cup, and his opponent drank the poison and died. Okay, our next one at the crowning celebration by the lighthouse. Oh no. Both his legs appear to be broken. Water Snake Master, lately I have experienced disturbing dreams. I feel cursed. Are you the source of this with your magic? Desist immediately and know that when pushed, my rage is absolute. Do not toy with the well-being of the Emperor's General, for I do not tolerate being attacked. In my many voyages, I have learned the dark arts too. If need be, I will summon a thousand invisible demons to crush your bones. Dear friend, it is not so simple for me to get you a seat alongside me on the Court of Directors at the Seven Seas Company. As a doctor, I recommend you to stop obsessing over it. It will only unbalance your humors. Let us discuss alternatives at the next party at Kingsington Palace. The man is not breathing and a severe wound at the back of his head. His arm appears to be broken. The door is locked from the outside. Or inside. Inside. Rules. Griffin Rebirth. The one who claims to be a Griffin Reborn must perform a miracle. If someone repeats the miracle, it is proven that it is not a miracle, but mere magic is uh, punished with death. If no one can repeat the miracle, the mask fall. Amant is crowned as a griffin reborn. In 1725, the first Dark Hand Lord Harrington demonstrated flying, jumped off a cliff to his death. Uh, in 1756, Proud Beastmaster Lord Bledsley performed a seance talking to the spirits. Lord Angus McBain repeated the miracle, proving him unworthy. In 1764, Dark Hand Master Lord Jones demonstrated the creation of the Humanoculus. Lord Angus McBain produced uh, a Homunoculus as well. In 1771, Proud Beast Master Lord White carried out the hypnosis of a servant. Lord Agnes McBain hypnotized the same man as well.
What an, ex what an honor to experience such a historical event. Protocol of an attempt to demonstrate a miracle. Location, the lighthouse on Gull uh, Islet near Horn of uh, Godhead Noon. Lord Angus McBain, Alistair Kosh, Dr. James Turner, Sir Walter Keane, Mr. Lazarus Hurst, and in charge of notes, Mr. Nicholas Maker. Dear Water Snake Brother Maker, as the director of the Seven Seas Trading Company, I do not assess work applications. Please go through the official channel so my staff can evaluate your credentials as an attorney. Darkan Master JT. Here I brought back your staff, O oh Griffin Reborn. Dear Master McBain, these threats to contact the Chief Inspector about my past offend me greatly. Being an honest soul, I have no choice but to comply with your base demands. I may have invited Lazarus to into our brotherhood, but he has not shared all his secrets with me. Luckily, I had, to, had an opportunity to see him practicing his miracle. He has a magical artifact hidden in his cane. When performing the miracle, he input the following glyphs. Then he presses a small lever on the handle of the cane. It grants him the powers to demonstrate the miracle. I have no doubt that the staff will work just as well in your hands as his. Sincerely, Dark Hands Gordon. A golden snuff box filled with opium powder. Hey, we found our statue again. And this, thus Griffin Reborn revealed himself to his brothers by demonstrating a true miracle. Silver crown, which... Kneel before the Griffin Reborn and make ready. I will lead your, you brothers to great many... That was an actual miracle. Unbelievable. So there is a Griffin Reborn. Deal. Five strange looking masks. By guide, guarding the lighthouse, you guard the Empire, General Alistair Kosh. After that connects the staircase to the top of the lighthouse. Log. Okay. We know this is Lazarus Hurst. This is Nicholas Maker. We met him before. This is good old Walter Keane, who we've also met before. Alright, so, oh. Hurst. Lazarus. He's a master.
So, this is James Turner. This one is uh, Alistair Kosh. And Angus McBain is the poor guy around the corner. Okay, Angus McBain, blackmailed Walter Keane, find out how Lazarus first would perform the miracle of lying. So, he was being blackmailed. Lazarus Hurst at it first. Angus McBain, the poor guy who's dead, had it second. And Walter Keane is holding it now, so he had it third. Okay, so Lazarus, Lazarus Hurst. Jumped. Lighthouse. The idol. To demonstrate the miracle of lying and became a griffin reborn. Angus McBain jumped from Lighthouse afterwards. This resulted in yes McBain's death from a head wound. <laughs> when Lazarus Hurst jumped from the lighthouse and survived using the hidden golden idol, Master Angus McBain thought he had enough information to repeat the miracle and prevent Lazarus from becoming Griffin Reborn. He seized the staff from Lazarus and locked the lighthouse door to prevent foul play. However, he did not know all the secrets of the idol, it did not work for him, and Angus jumped to his death. The Interrupted Weekend at the Doctor's Saloon.
the uh, chapter three, the ascent, the interrupted weekend at the doctor's salon. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, uh -huh. let's start with the dead guy on the floor. Seems fair enough. The man is not breathing and has a huge vertical wound on his forehead. Hey. <laughs> Dear friend, the elections are over, so let's uphold tradition and have a leisurely weekend at my place with you and Leopold to discuss the Prime Minister's situation. Please join us on May 12th. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James. Listen, apologies for the shouting match yesterday. Let's continue our discussion at noon. Why can't I chip on any of those? Psychoactive plants, drug symptoms, body onion... An illusion of unity with the universe, increased appetite, hiccups. Black poppy sleepiness, whites of the eyes get a pink tint. Uh, Lumerin lichen, uh, hyper concentration on one thing, loss of perception of time, rapid blinking. Uh, Redberry surge of energy, vocalization of your th all thoughts, twitching and aggression. The seals of the 12 lunar eclipses, Lumerin clan. Tea house, chess house, bouquet filled, library, lawn, flower beds, flower beds, fountain. Oh lord, I did not expect something like this in our household. This is such a mess, however, we will clean the blood out of the rug. Oh, it's drugged. Uh, that was... Uh, a hobby. Ah, Leopold, your plan to frame Patu is sublime, but your missing buttons is more than enough proof that you did. Constable, please escort this man out. A glass of sherry. Um, empty glass of sherry. James, this is preposterous. You know damn well that he was killed by that Lumeran savage. Dear friend, now that the elections are over, please join me for a leisurely weekend at my manor with good old Augustus, mother fine fellows. We have some drinks and discuss what to do about the prime minister position. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James Turner. He's poisoned as, or he's got that poison as well. And missing a button. Sherry, a fallen bottle of sherry. Your eyes are huge. This is outrageous. I thought you were an animal man, Leopold, not some uh, Quitanian agent trying to sabotage our friendly relations with Lumeria and provoke a conflict. He, uh, he stole his jive just like that. The doctor is a smart man. He saw through his lies. Dear friend, at one of the balls you said that you would love to meet someone actually interesting. I have, I am having a weekend at drinks at my manor, and a prince from the 11th clan of Lumira will be joining us. Please do us the honor of your company, too. Kindly confirm your presence. Oh, rapidly blinking. That is... Uh, hyper concentration of, on one thing. I hope the host did not notice me when he was leaning over the sleeping eye patch, Donald. Dear Prince, I heard that you got invited to a party by the director of Seven Seas Company himself. I know you hate associating with these invaders and thieves, but this might be just the opportunity that we seek to reclaim our honor. Dear Prince, as you know, I am a great officiato of Lumerian culture. It would be my pleasure to invite a member of the Patu clan. Or is it just two clan? Uh, too clan to spend a leisurely weekend at my estate with some of our own political dig dignitaries. A spicy smelling ornamental box. A brown slate seal. Blum. Oh god, believe me, my lord, I did not feel comfortable arresting a prime ministerial candidate, but I must ask you to follow me. Author Faulkner. 
Leopold claims that had a glass of sherry with James in the library and became drowsy. As he was falling asleep, saw the Lumerian observing him through the glass door. Woke up, found the butler on the floor asleep. Woke up the butler, entered the salon, and found the body. Upon inspecting the weapon, deduced that the Lumerian was the murderer. Instruction to the butler to raise the alarm. Claims that played croquette with Ergen in the morning. They got bored and went to drink tea in the tea house. Ergen drew his attention to the interesting design of the chess house. Saw Lord Alistair Kosh lecture the butler. Saw Master Turner come to the chess house and send the butler away, just as Ergen was remarking on the beauty of the chess house. Saw Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. Slightly difficult to understand what he says, potentially because he has a challenges with our language. Claims that everything young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. He drank a glass of uh, Blanchard in the library in the morning. Then he went to the chess house where he found Lord Alistair and the butler. Ordered the butler to clean up the library and got rid of the bad sherry. Spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair until the alarm was raised. Uh, as the master of the house, he led the interrogation of the suspects. Claims that in the morning he practiced chess at the chess house and educated the butler on his lack of military training. Sometime in the afternoon, Dr. Turner arrived and sent the butler away. They played together and he was very close to winning when the alarm was raised. Served Lord Alistair uh, in the chess house in the morning. His master arrived and instructed him to dispose of the spoiled sherry that he and Lord Leopold had drunk and then go to assist Mr. Spade in the garden. On entering the library he, to take away the classes, he found Lord Leopold asleep. Suddenly was overcome with dizziness and fainted due to his weak heart. Was awoken by Lord Leopold and instructed to raise the alarm. Then saw the deceased laying in the salon. Claims that planted and pruned all morning by the Chrysanthemum bush. Saw the young gentleman and the foreigner leave the croquette and go behind the manor. In the afternoon, moved to the rose bush. From there, saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Continued his work on the roses until the alarm was raised by Mr. Hill. New order party, London Gazetteer, who will be the new Prime Minister. Election results. The new order party have the most MPs, but it is clear that the two old parties will form a coalition. This means either Loyalist leader Blanchard or moderate leader Valentine will become the Prime Minister, losing Lazarus Hurst and his party in the opposition. Okay, let's see. We got through there. Uh, an unfinished croquet match on a grass field. Chrysanthemum bushes. Rose bushes. I think we got everything. I don't see any yellow glowing dots. Okay. So, let's figure this out. Well, we know that it is the doctor on the floor. D yeah. Leopold. We know this guy is the who. <laughs> is. Okay, the gardener.
getting it out here. Arthur Faulkner. Hush. Audric. And this guy, that leaves him to be James Turner. Ooh, okay. So it is Augustus Valentine, is the victim. The boomerang is the weapon. He is in the. lawn where he was murdered and the body was found by leopold okay we got that correct okay based on the notes the gardener was in the flower bed the butler was in the library the doctor was in the chess house with the general the loyalist was in the salon. The young man was in the tea house with the prince. Okay. Rob. Leopold Blanchard in the library. We know that because he was knocked out. And soul button. Alright. I think it was James Turner. Meanwhile, in the tea house we're gone who rugged Gideon Bell oh, a Lumerin seal so long The lawn at around noon. Alistair Kosh. Killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to a frame. Leopold Blanchard. <laughs> All right. Brotherhood members Alistar and James plotted to turn the ruling moderate and loyalist parties against each other. Over the course of a weekend at James Manor, Alistar murdered the moderate leader and James framed loyalist leader. You have proven that I can trust you. Here is the Brotherhood's artifact that I moved from the Traitor Queen. Here is the Brotherhood's artifact that I moved from the Traitor Keen. Let me educate you on how it works. I set it to take heat from this cup of water. Then I changed the symbols and used the idol to give that heat to something else. But there is much more that idol can do. 